Everything you need to know about the new agent Astra, let's go. At first glance, Astra is definitely a 300 IQ big brain type of agent. You will get the most use out of her kit by having foresight and envisioning how you want to throttle and reroute your enemies. Her passive is called Astral Form. You press X and you go into the cosmos. Basically, while you're in the cosmos, you can place down her abilities which are called stars in real time, and you can set up your traps where you want to before the round starts. Her next ability is Gravity Well. You can place this down and when activated, it pulls players towards the center of it and after it explodes, everyone inside of it that's trapped becomes fragile. For any of you that are wondering, that is the same debuff from Viper Snake Bite. The best way to think of this ability is to think of it as Zarya's Graviton Surge from Overwatch, where anyone that gets trapped inside of it gets pulled to the center. Her next ability is Nova Pulse. You place down this ability, and when you activate it, you can stun enemies within its radius. This thing is a concussion grenade that you can pre-place down like a Killjoy Molly. Her next ability is Nebula Smoke. From the looks of it, she only gets one of these, and she can pre-place it down in her astral form. You can also activate this smoke and have it instantly turn off, and it gives you the charge back. This thing is the ultimate bait tool. And finally, her ultimate is Cosmic Divide. When you go into Astral Form, you can right-click to activate your ult and select two points for your huge wall to go up wherever you choose. This wall will block bullets and heavily mute your team's audio. There have been a lot of take Cypher free ultimates in Valorant, but this one just might take the cake honestly. We will have to see how this one shakes out in the future. Okay, going into more news content and basic facts for this agent, Astra is going to be agent number 15, coming to Valorant in episode 2, act 2, so I think we might see her this week or early next week. She hails from the country Ghana and Africa, and she specializes in astrology and cosmic warfare. Basically, she's a black version of Scarlet Witch meets Doctor Strange. Ah, you see what I did there? WandaVision reference? Ah, uh, hmm, yeah, okay, I'll stop. In my opinion, she looks to be an agent that will be most suited for the IGL player type of the team, or usually the smartest person on your team. She was designated as a controller that was designed with map control and map flow in mind. And when I say map control, I mean the entire map control. Her kit and her abilities can be set up pre-round, and when combined with other agents' utility, she looks to be a main facilitator that can lock up entire enemy teams and reroute how they traverse the map and even deny sites. Okay, I didn't mention it before because I was going too fast, but with her Nebula Smoke, you can turn this thing on and then it immediately turns back off and gives you the charge back, and it's basically going to bait anyone who wants to walk through the smoke. So basically set this thing up on defense, turn it on, then turn it off, and anyone who tries to push through thinking that they have a free smoke they can walk through will instantly just be caught out in the open. But yeah, I really like this agent. This game really needs some more expression with skill, especially when it comes to the mental aspect of this game. That's what we've really been lacking for the past several months. And Astra looks to be an agent that finally gives us some more skill expression on the mental side of the game. So I'm really excited to see her join the, the roster. Well, everyone, this has been Sergeant Frost with the Astra Agent 15 news update. Make sure to pay attention to my channel in the next week. I will have an agent guide for Astra coming up soon in the next week. So look out for that. Until my next video, Sergeant Frost out.